Hello everyone, my name is Yong Feng from Tsinghua University, and today I'm going to present our work on Empower Program Pipeline for Advanced Stateful Packet Processing. Stateful network functions plays, uh, play a fundamental role in modern networks, especially in data centers and cloud networks, handling tasks from load balancing, uh, DDoS mitigation to uh, traffic shaping and a state for firewall. The key challenge here is that the processing of a packet can depend on the history of previous packets with the same flow. This dependency introduces complexity in implementing efficient and scalable network functions. Uh, typically, stateful network functions based on the extended finite state machine abstraction can be broken down into three primary phases, state lookup, state calculation, and the state update. Here, the initial phase focuses on accessing the current state, and the last phase is dedicated to modifying the state. In the case of BandS implementation, these three phases are uh, combined into atomic operations that form part of the pipeline. This involves, for instance, fetching the value A, executing a straightforward calculation, and uh, subsequently updating A. FlowBlaze enables state writeback within a single stage processor. This involves <coughs> initially reading the state, followed by a lo table lookup and a computation to derive a new state, and ultimately updating the state. This approach semantically enriches the abstraction uh, provided by Banzai. However, many complex stateful network functions cannot be completed using a single stage processor in the pipeline and require a generalized state write back. That is, multiple table lookup and uh, calculation operations are needed between the state reading and the state writing. First, the current state is obtained from the state table and then through a series of complex phases such as uh, table lookup and uh, calculations, the new state is finally written back to the location of uh, the original state. Among them, the calculation phase may require more than one hardware clock cycle, which will cause the problem of inconsistent state reading and writing. For example, packet P1 reads state C as two uh, in the first uh, stage. Uh, after the state calculation in the second stage, the state C carried by P1 is four. If interventions are not applied to the packet P1 in the same flow before the state is uh, uh, written back, then packet P2 will read the still state C as two. That is, a read after write hazard caused the state can inconsistency issues. In handling complex uh, stateful network functions, two typical architectures, that is pipeline-based architectures uh, and uh, the multi-core-based architecture, uh, both experience a decline in performance. Uh, for the pipeline-based architecture, there are two significant uh, issues. On the one hand, when supporting complex stateful functions, they need to utilize the <coughs> primitive recirculate to write back the state to the state tables, lacking a, quick, uh, lacking a direct path for quick state updates, and the state consistency cannot be guaranteed. On the other hand, to ensure state consistency, when packet P1 is <coughs> in the pipeline for processing, other packets from the same flow have to wait outside. This causes the high performance <coughs> High performance pipeline execution to uh, de degrade to the run to completion execution. And uh, for multiple core based architecture, when one process is busy with state processing and computation, other processes that uh, uh, need access to the same state should store and wait. This ensures they get the state only after the state has been updated and synchronized. At this point, the parallel high-performance execution mode is thus downgraded to sequential execution. 
we conduct simulations of pipeline support for stateful network functions in both switch and NIC scenarios. In these simulations, the traffic to the NIC was 28% uh, throughput, while switch traffic reached 60% throughput. The, simulation <coughs> the simulations utilized the FlowBlaze multi queue method to guarantee state consistency, which allows for a variable number of queues. The sim simulation results show that when supporting complex stateful network functions, that is, when the required pipeline length is relatively long, there will be varying degrees of packet loss in both the switch and NIC scenarios. The reason is obvious. When the packet P1, P2, and P3 of three different flows are being processed in the stateful pipeline stages, the packets within the same flow need to wait. That is, P4, <coughs> P4 to P6 are blocked due to state consistency. At the same time, the victim packets P7 to P9 cannot be processed due to the head of line blocking. These two blockings seriously affect the packet processing throughput <coughs> and uh, uh, greatly increasing, uh, increase packet processing delays. In networks with increasingly higher processing requirements, there's a need for more generic, efficient, high performance uh, solutions with stateful network functions. Our paper proposes new abstraction, new execution mode, and new architecture for stateful functions. First, we propose the abstraction of data plan writable table. In pipeline-based design, the memory is coupled with each stage processor, so the efficient primitive recirculate should be used. We think that reading and writing states globally is uh, over-designed. For stateful functions, the abstraction of local reading and the remote writing is sufficient. And compared with the, the reading and writing state at any location, its hardware implementation can save a lot of resources. Secondly, the local flow table can also be used as the global state table. Thus, it enlarges the accessible range of the state table. For the execution mode of stateful functions, the traditional execution mode blocks the processing of subsequent intraflow packets. However, we found that for most complex stateful network functions, the state update ratio is low. That is, not every packet will modify the flow state. Even if packets are processed in parallel, the probability of state conflict is relatively low. But in order to maintain state consistency at a low state update ratio, the traditional solution is block packets with 100% probability. But what would happen if it didn't block? Therefore, we propose speculative execution for stateful functions. We predict that the packet will not modify the state. So packets in the same flow can be processed in parallel. <coughs> Uh, once the packet modifies the state, we will take measures to make the subsequent packets to read the latest state. Take a simple example. For the blocking problem uh, mentioned earlier, uh, P, P1, P2, P3 are being processed, uh, people being processed in the read calculator write period. Only P1 uh, modify the state and the P2, P3 don't modify the state. For traditional blocking execution, four bubbles needed to be inserted to the pipeline to ensure state consistency. But in the speculative execution, P1 to P9 are all sent to the pipeline for processing. Then <coughs> P4 uh, finds that it has re read the old state, so it is sent back to the location of the state to read the latest state again. We can see that uh, processing non packets in non blocking mode saves two hardware cycles. Based on the uh, proposed data plan writable table abstraction and uh, the speculative execution and the typical match action unit, we design a new uh, data plan architecture. This architecture uh, adds a ring to one side of the pipeline to support fast state write back 
and the state consistency, it is named as RAPID. RAPID needs to address four main issues. First, the updated state should be uh, written back quickly without going through the entire pipeline. RAPID use, uses the side ring to solve this problem. Each stage processor is connected to the <coughs> side ring node, and the updated states on the side ring node can be transmitted um, to the preceding stage processor each hardware clock cycle. As we use speculative execution, it is possible for <coughs> the packets to read the still state. Uh, rapids uh, re can resubmit to these packets through the fast pass, the side ring to any uh, processor containing the latest value. At the same time, the resubmit packets will conflict with the newly arrived packets, causing the packets in the same flow to be out of order. Rapid gives a <coughs> reasonable timestamp-based scheduling mechanism to ensure state consistency and uh, in-order processing. Since not all stateful functions require strict consistency, for example, sketch-based uh, <coughs> applications have relatively loose uh, consistency requirements. So Rapid adds uh, multi-level consistency support. Users are no longer required to carry out complex designs to maintain state consistency. The implementation details can be found in our paper. And in addition, in order to facilitate user programming, we provide more generalized state operations and state tables. We use LPGA to implement the hardware prototype for Rapid and also implement other related architectures such as PISA, Banzai, and FlowBlaze. The four architectures are synthesized using LPG and an open source technology library. For LPG prototypes, Rapid consumes fewer resources such as lookup table, flip flop, and BRAM, while being more functional than FlowBlaze. For ASIC area and power consumption, Rapid has at most 5% uh, com uh, overhead compared to the baseline architecture, which is much smaller than FlowBlaze. We use an ASIC simulator to conduct uh, performance experiments on the traditional block execution and the speculative execution of Rapid, and the three choices with different characteristics are used. For throughput, <coughs> When different stateful functions are implemented, the number of stage processors used by these stateful functions is different, and the throughput performance is improved by two to three times compared to blocking execution. For latency, Rapid also has a one to two times latency reduction compared to the blocking execution mode, as the blocking due to state consistency and the head of line blocking problems are solved in Rapid. To conclude, uh, with the goal of optimizing throughput and uh, latency in supporting stateful functions, our paper proposed an abstraction of data plan writable table, and we use speculative execution to speed up packet processing. Based on the data plan writable table and the speculative execution for stateful functions, we designed the rapid architecture. And finally, we enhance the P4 language to help users write the state of functions more easily. Thank you.